What is going on guys, we are here with Blunder with Alexander for Small One Snake Draft Phase 3. Thankfully this is not the match because um, they brought the same team and Blunder asked Alex if he wants to replay and then they replayed. Um, so then we got right into that game. There's a replay, uh, usually I wouldn't bring you guys a replay, I will have some more live games later. Shoutouts to my man Ultra Balls, he's helping me a bit because I'm pretty busy at the moment. He's narrating some games for me as well. But yeah, looking at it. Um, the, yeah, this is a pretty cool replay. That's why I'm bringing you guys a replay. Otherwise, I would only bring you live games. There's a team that Brof has brought in World Cup. I'm pretty sure that Alex has. Uh, one of the two has to be Scarf. The other one is the Zemo user. This is probably Specs Gengar. Uh, Specs Ferrox, Defensive Lando, a Camel at the end to wrap it up. A uh, really nice uh, Magirnacek. I always have trouble pronouncing that name, so I pronounce it like slower. But yeah, this is uh, probably Specs Pillar Rain team. And then Scarf Katana or Scarf Lele. One of the two is going to be Scarf. Not sure about the Weeble set yet. Um, so let's get right into it. Blender leads off uh, with the Weeble. I assume predicted either the Gengar or the Ladi because those two would have let off well versus the Pelipper. Um, now Blender's forced into either Pelipper or Tapu Lele here on the Kelio. He goes on the uh, Pelipper. On a secret sword, and if this Kelio is um, Scarf, then Pelipper just gets a Kelio with Hurricane. Um, maybe Ferrothon can take two if it's Spidef, but Alex has no good switch into Hurricane. Um, but yeah, it turns out he's not he's not Scarf Kelio, and he's a Z move. He's Hydro Vortex, Pelipper doesn't have the best Spidef, and it's rain boosted. So Pelipper just dies, and it's obviously um, because Pelipper is also offensive. Like the combination of Pelipper being offensive, rain being up. Zemo's been broken. Um, that just means that that's a dead Pelipper. Um, pretty much, we get Blunder got information now. Um, they get information that the Ladi has to be Scarf since this isn't Scarf. Scarf Gengar is just no more, and he's way too weak to Volk if he's Scarf Gengar. Uh, I guess he could be a Rock Slide on camera, but still, he would be weak to Volcarona anyways. But yeah, Blunder can now uh, go into Kartana or Tapu Lily here. He goes Kartana. The uh, Lando is really obvious here. He doubles out, and we were predicting the Lander is. Um, so now the Ferrothorn can come out here and you guys might think why the fuck did Blunder make that play? Um, because Ferrothorn just walls the Weevil, a, a regular Weevil set, but he goes for SD, pulls up with a crispy Weevil set. And this is m the main reason why I'm uploading this replay. All out pummeling Weevil with the low kick I assume. Blows away Ferrothorn after SD and it's, I think it's a CTC set because Blunder mentioned something with, like he said CTC here in the chat. Um, Kelly is now pretty much forced. Uh, I think like he's gonna go for Secret Sword because there's a plus one we will, and if he over predicts, he might get to it KO. Um, so he can go on a Lele here because Secret Sword is four times resisted, and even if he goes for a water move, uh, Lele has good speed def and can eat it up. And he can pretty much just click Psychic here. Um, turns out that he's Choice Scarf. Uh, even if he was Specs there, he could just click Psychic anyway. Um, but yeah, so now Blana can go. Uh, like you would think he would go into Ferrothorn here. Um, but yeah, he makes a fire play and goes in the Swampert. Uh, let me explain to you guys why this is a fire play. Um, Alex was gonna go for Psyshock, he wasn't gonna go for Drake or anything there because there was a Lily in. And yeah, whatchamacallit. Going to Swampert means Swampert can eat up the Psyshock. And if Alexander wanted to break the Ferrothorn and double out into Camerupt, Swampert would have covered that play. So it was a fire play in Blunder's part. Uh, if Blunder has rocks on Pert, he can get them up and help Lily, like, um, to help Lily to clean. Like getting a proxy would help Lele to clean late game, Scarf Lele. Um, but if he doesn't have rocks on a uh, Pert, uh, he probably doesn't have rocks on Pert because he doubled into Ferrothorn. As you guys can see now, they exchange rocks. But I can now go for Leech Seed. Um, this is just nice chip on the camera up. He does connect his Leech Seed. Um, he doesn't necessarily uh, win this. He probably wins. Blana probably wins this at this point with the combination of Scarf, Lele, and uh, Weewile. Um, that mi the power miss unfortunate there. Not 100% sure if Blunder predicted him to go for the off port, predicting this, like, Blunder predicted him to predict the Pearl potentially, or he was just willing to let this go, not 100% sure about that. But yeah, hitting that would mean that, um, Lele's Moonblast uh, cleans up late game if Gengar goes low, or like if Gengar dies. But yeah, now Blunder switches uh, into Pearl, predicting a Fire Blast, gets it correct, oof. And I feel like Waterfall's pretty free here, cause like chip damage on everything is just fine to help Scarf Lily. I don't think this was necessary, but to be fair, it doesn't matter at this point. Uh, you can just go Weevil here and click Knockoff and get a kill, um, because Lander would die to the combination of Knockoff and Icicle Crash. Uh, he just sacks the Camel. I assume like um, that the Weevil has SD, Knockoff, Icicle Crash, and Low Kick. I think that's the move. That yeah, no Ice Shot probably. Could still be Ice Shot, but I don't think it would be. But yeah, Alex is. Um, 
Now we're gonna go Landris because that's the only one that can live a hit a bit intimidate. The other two monsters died in knockoff. Um, so Blanda can switch here. No Katana or Ferrothorn. Goes to Katana. Leafblade is gonna do a lot to Lando because it's not intimidated. And yeah, Lando taking damage means um, we will uh, pretty much wins this game at this point. Scarflady, the only thing that outspeeds we will. And if uh, if Alex goes for Draco with a Scarflady on the Weavile, um, like Scarflady just wins on plus Weavile because if he ever like the only thing that stops Weavile is uh, Scarflady at this point. But Scarflady has to go for Draco to kill Weavile, and if he goes for Draco, Lily can come in and click uh, Psychic on Lari for free. Um, yeah, I don't know, I didn't explain it optimal, but you guys probably get it, the game is over. Uh, Moonblasting means he cannot go to Lari, he has to go Gengar. Uh, Blunder is going to sack his Ferrothorn here, it's going to be 2 hit KO'd. Um, then he goes in the Weavile, and he clicks Knockoff, and he gets a kill, and the game ends from there. So he clicks knockoff here, gets a kill, Alex sticks the laddie, and yeah, then... Like, Alex had to bank on some choke, I guess. Yeah, he like, he couldn't do anything. And yeah, this was a cool game, you guys can expect uh, another guest upload. Uh, one of the guest uploads already went up from UB earlier, another one is going to be coming. And yeah, I'm super tired, like, I hope I can bring you guys another live upload later, but I'm probably not going to be able to. My voice kind of dead and stuff. But yeah, peace out, uh, have a fantastic day. Stay tuned for more content. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, I don't know. I'm the master at messing up my outros. Boy.